Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my buy and try for February. So I am going to start out with the products that I tried out for January and tell, the, uh, tell you guys how it went. And then I'll kind of show you the stuff that I'm going to try out this month. So um, the first things that I tried were two Lush products. And I don't have them with me because they're in my shower. Um, but I'll tell you how they're going. So the first one is um, the dry shampoo bar that I started using. It's like a toffee and honey. And I'll tell you, I love this product. It is so cleaning. At the very first time I used it, I was like, there's no way it's going to suds. There's not going to be a foam. I'm going to hate it. I love it. It smells so good. And I've been using it for over 30 days and it's not even halfway gone. So this is probably the best value shampoo that I'm ever going to get. And I do love it, I love it a lot. Um, and then the other Lush product I bought was the American Cream Conditioner. And that was to go with that. Um, the girl who worked at the store that helped me, she said that that's the combo that she uses. And the conditioner is okay. I felt like I had to use a lot of conditioner to get my hair soft. Um, that the shampoo bar is really drying and I thought they'd be really great for like my oily scalp and things like that, but the conditioner really isn't helping that much. So, um, I bought the smaller bottle, so it's almost gone. So I'll try something else this month. Um, so those are my two Lush products. And then I had some products from Birchbox that I was going to try. And the first one was, um, the Camille Backman Tuscan Honey Hand and Shower Cleansing Gel. So I did use it and I also have um, a Lush Refresher um, shower jelly and it's a lemon. So I actually was putting both on my sponge. So it was like lemon and honey. It smelled really, really good. It felt good on the skin. It lathered. I just, I didn't love it. There was no reason for me to keep using it. And I don't, I don't know. I guess I just, it's weird to use a pump in the shower. Like that was just really hard for me to get over. Um, so I'm just going to pass this on to my mom. She loves honey everything, and I know she's going to love this. So I'm just going to finish that off with her. Uh, the second thing I used was this Jules and Esther cleansing gel, and it has aloe in it, and it's just a facial cleanser. Let's see if you guys can see it. There you go. And again, it was something that worked. It worked to clean my face. Um, I have really dry skin. It didn't really irritate my skin, but it didn't really hydrate it much at all even though it had the aloe in it it's maybe halfway gone so I'll probably use it you know just to get rid of it but probably not gonna buy it again and then the last thing I tried from Birchbox was the Cynthia Rally eyeshadow palette and it came in these five beautiful colors right here sorry you're gonna see all this going on um and I when I swatched them like they're really pigmented on your fingers like they're beautiful look at these beautiful colors and then I swatched them and it, it, you know they kind of have some pigment but putting them on your eye they really didn't show up at all um even with a primer and they are really crumbly so like when you put it on it would like cake on your eye so the formula of these is not my favorite either so i'm pro i mean i'm gonna probably still use these they're probably a really good like crease shade or really good like blending shade but not really for the whole lid um, other things I tried through January was this e.l.f. eyelid primer. Um, I started using the lid insurance um, probably in December. Oh gosh, you can't see that. I'm so sorry. Oh, there you go. Um, and I really loved it. And I thought, well, why don't I try this, you know, more value idea? And it comes with the little doe foot wand. And I hate it. <laughs> it's white. It's literally white. And when you put it on your eyes, it doesn't really sink in. It's just like this white paste. And then when you put your eyeshadow on, it kind of like, I don't know. I just, I didn't like it at all. Didn't like it at all. And then, oh, there was one last thing I think that I tried last month. And this one, it's almost out too. This is the Sephora Instant Moisturizer. This was an impulse purchase that I made at the checkout. And I've been using it. I used it today. I like it. It did really hydrate my skin, which I appreciate. Um, my skin goes from dry to oily really quick. But I feel like this didn't really like leave in like a layer of oil on my skin either. So I thought that was pretty good. All right, so stuff I'm going to try this month. It's 
get that junk out of the way. So I do have two hair care products. And the first one is the Pantene Pro V 3 Minute Miracle Sheer Volume Deep Conditioner. So, oh good, you can read that really well. So I am someone who uses a conditioner every day on my hair. Um, it, it, just like my skin, it's got this weird like, sometimes I'm oily, sometimes I'm dry. And especially using the over drying shampoo bar, um, I felt that my hair wasn't really super soft. Like I feel like it's kind of like, straw-y. So I wanted to try this guy. So I got that. And I actually have another Pantene product. Target had like a deal when you bought like four Pantene products. So I of course bought four Pantene products. Um, this is their triple action mousse, the maximum hold. You don't see a lot of maximum hold mousses. I feel like you see a lot of low hold because um, mousse is kind of like something for tossling. But I use mousse to get volume, especially because I flat iron every piece of my hair every day when I do the flat iron. And so it kind of lays real thin. So I kind of have a holy grail mousse and it's the herbal essence volumizing mousse. And I have used probably 10 cans of that um, in the last couple years and I'm almost out. I probably have one application left. So we'll try this. We'll see how it goes. We'll see if it, we'll see if it works. So there's that. And let's see, so I have a shower gel to replace this Camille Beckman, and um, this is a Lush product. This is the Comforter Shower Cream. There you go, and I feel like it's supposed to be like black raspberry, but I could be wrong. Could be wrong. Love the scent. You can find it in our beloved bubble bar, too. Hmm. Who'd have thunk? Oh, yeah, blackberry is like the second and then vanilla. So there you go. That's what the scent should be like. Um, I think it's supposed to be like a before the evening. Um, it's supposed to be like a relaxing scent. I like to relax. So there you go. Um, I'm going to try a new makeup remover. So I'm almost out of my testers because um, I did buy some impulse ones um, at the Sephora checkout around December. And so I'm almost out of those. And so this one is the Caudalie O Muscular. So it's a micellar water makeup remover. Um, everyone says that this is the best way to go. I have so many problems getting my eye makeup off, especially if I use like a liquid or a gel liner. I feel like I'm just like scrubbing the junk out of my eyes and then I have like all these like little red like marks and I know it's not good for your skin to pull on your skin so we're going to try this and we'll see if this actually removes my makeup um other things I'm going to try I do have a new um face cream to try this is the dreamy youth day and night face cream and it's by pacifica Oh, there you go. I don't know if you can see the box real well. There you go. Um, so, because I'm almost out of my Sephora moisturizer, I thought I'd try a new moisturizer. And so this is a day and night cream. And, you know, I they say it's never too early to start worrying about um, what your skin is going to look like in the future and to worry about anti-aging. So I'm almost 30. So this could be the time where I'm really going to start worrying about what my skin looks like. Um, you know, just a little peek into my life. I will tell you, my mother is all about skincare. She is obsessed with um, Estee Lauder and she's been using their products pretty much her entire life. And I know it's super expensive and I always thought it was crazy how much money she spent on her skincare. But now that she's later in life and her skin is still so soft, she has very few wrinkles. I think there is something to taking care of her skin. So I think I'm going to start buying some anti-aging skin things. Um, I also got another Pacifica product. I don't remember why I got two. Maybe there was like a buy one, get one free. I don't know. Let's see if we can get it out of the box. But here's the pretty box. It's the Power of Love Natural Lipstick. I do love that their products are vegan. That is pretty awesome. Uh, here's the pretty package with the hearts on it. It's pretty cool. And then it's just this pretty red color. I'm going to swatch that there for you. It's more, I guess it's not really red. It's more like a burnt orange, which I actually don't have a single orange colored lipstick. So that'll be good. Um, something that I've already started trying, because as you can tell by the disgusting package, um, this is something I got in my last um, Sephora order. It's the um, the new Becca Concealer in the banana color. Um, it's the Radiant Skin Concealer. 
And I don't know how I feel about this packaging. These things where you twist, I don't know. So I'm going to keep using it. I'll try it out. But it does have a lot of really good coverage. It's this swatch right here. It looks great with my skin tone. It really does hide the pores in my nose. So we'll keep using that. Give that a few more tries. And then the last product I am going to keep trying are these um, Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Colors. So I got these um, in my What's New at the Drugstore video, and I bought like five of these, and I've got the red one on now. I kind of like the red, and then I have this neutral, and I'm going to start using this one this month and see how this goes. I'm not super into matte. I'm always like a shiny, sheer, shimmer kind of girl. So we'll see how I like this matte lip color. So that is, that's everything. That is everything I'm going to try this month, at least that I'm going to try for a video. So um, thank you guys for watching. And if you've ever tried any of the products that I'm going to try this month, go ahead and let me know in the comments so I can kind of see what you guys think about them as well. And I, uh, See you guys in my next video. So have a great week, guys. Bye.